So, Carlos, why not? We saw the jobs report coming in hotter than expected on the size of the uh, payroll increases and, importantly, on the average hourly earnings. Wages up more than 5% year over year, well above the 4.6 forecast. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Well, the Fed is definitely still going to have to focus on tackling inflation. And we've seen other central bankers, including the ECB, um, you know, still focused on inflation. However, in this part of the world, I believe there are three reasons why central banks will be able to afford to take a break from having to follow the Fed in terms of ra uh, rate hikes. Those three factors are, first of all, that inflation has started to inflect. So on a GDP-weighted basis, Asian inflation was 3.6% in October, and that is down from 3.9% in uh, September. And that is a trend that you can observe across almost all of the countries in the region. In second place is that um, central banks have started to focus more on re, um, economic impact, so trying to balance uh, the need to tackle inflation with the need to sustain economic activity, which is something that we should see uh, in other parts of the world next year, but it's already starting to happen in Asia. And in third place, um, we have the uh, US dollar rally. We expect that that is nearing its peak. Um, in fact, in November, all Asian currencies appreciated against the US dollar, uh, not to say that that, um, you know, will continue um, without some, some bumps in the, in the months ahead. But we do expect that uh, US dollar um, appreciation in 2023 will be uh, less significant. It won't be a drag for central bankers, and so they can afford to take a pause potentially or hike at a slower pace compared to the Fed. So we've got the Reserve Bank of Australia kicking off the week tomorrow. Uh, the rate hike expected to be 25 basis points instead of 50, although I must say I read a story saying that uh, maybe 15 there's a, a 15 basis point hike is possible what do you see I, I don't exclude that possibility. So we saw Bank of Korea already delivering a smaller 25 basis point rate hike. So we do expect to see the same out of Australia this week. Inflation has started to cool. Um, it's 6.7%, so still above the tolerance band. Um, but there are going to be um, issues around growth, especially in 2023. Um, and with the RBA having increased rates so rapidly, um, I do think that um, they're going to have to take a pause in terms of the, ma the magnitude of the hikes to try to gauge what the impact on the economy is going to be. Even if they do a smaller 15 basis point rate hike instead of 25, which is what is currently priced in the market, we think that talks that the RBA will pause are, uh, you know, a little bit, it's a little bit too soon to argue that. We think that um, most likely the RBA will have to continue hiking into the first quarter of 2023, but they will do so in smaller increments um, to avoid um, exacerbating headwinds on the economic front.